Hey guys, I hope everyone is well. This is Judy Aldridge from Atlantis Home, and I'm teaming up with Circa Houses today to give you guys a one room journey, along with a lot of other fabulous Instagrammers. We're just gonna create a little content to keep you guys entertained during this time of self-isolation. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. We're gonna do a tour of a room in my house that we call the elephant room and I'll tell you why in just a minute. I'm going to give you just like a quick overview and then I'm going to sit down and point things out because I filmed it once moving around and I thought I'm just going to make you guys dizzy and nauseous and I don't want to do that. So now I'm going to sit down and we'll talk about some of the things but this is kind of the expanse of the room. Um, great big painting by David Bjork. Done in 1989, he uh, was a Canadian artist. And then we have this great cheetah sculpture by Loette Vanderveen. He was a very prolific sculptor from, I think from Denmark, but um, later resided in California and did a lot of animal sculptures. This great lamp here. I actually have a pair they were an estate sale find, and what's cool about them is that they have these semi-precious jewels dotted all around them and really cool carved animals. So that was a neat find. And one of those things I kind of watched and waited until they went 50% off, so got a great deal, and that's always good. So if you followed me for a while, you know I love Warren Platner. And I just recently moved this pair of Warren Platner chairs in here with these Florence Knoll club chairs and I think they look really good. I've had these chairs a long time and I seem to have a hard time finding a place for the pair. Maybe if I had eight of them, I would put them around a table, a dining table, but the two of them have been hard to place and I think I really like this, so they're gonna stay here. And then here's my collection of thrifted brass candlesticks on a thrifted brass tray. Uh, my friend Russell Brightwell helped me put these all together like this and I'm forever grateful because they look so good and now it gives me incentive to go out and collect even more, which I probably don't need. Okay, now let's move over here to the elephant doors. These are old Indian doors that would have surrounded a home or a compound and those spikes were actually there to to keep elephants out when they charged uh, a compound. Those spikes, you could see they would hit the elephants and keep them away. So, and there's a little tiny little door over there. And these are very old and people were a lot smaller then. So, kind of a neat thing. And that's why we call it the elephant room. And this Carl Springer-esque console, which I love. Great old lucite chair. That's a real lucite chair. It weighs a ton. Love those. I actually have a pair. Then um, let's talk about my rug, which is actually two rugs. I have a big collection of antique rugs, and these are two old Persian rugs that I put together that were roughly the same size because I didn't have one big enough to fill this room up. So it's kind of a good good way to use these rugs. So that's it guys, that's my elephant room. We love to come in here in the evenings and have a cocktail. It's kind of where we like to chill out. It is definitely, I would say our favorite room. And that's the end of my one room journey. So when this goes live, if you guys have any questions about anything, just send me a DM and I hope everyone stays well. Bye.